sometimes when we are chicken owners, we have to deal with loss. And it is a very unfortunate thing. And there was one loss I didn't find out until about yesterday that had already been going on. And that was a fox attack on Easter Sunday and finally on Wednesday last week. And the sad part is, I didn't even realize this happened until yesterday. So you might be wondering, what are these chickens doing far away from their homes at, what, like 8 o'clock right now? So you might be wondering, what are they doing far away from their housing over there? Well, these chickens decided um, that it would be a funny idea to go roost out here instead of back at their home, where they should be roosting. But yeah, it, it's kind of a hit or miss thing. Last night we had half of the farm flock out here. There's a lot of buffs, all the Wyandots, and our rooster Snow White. They were all like perched over here on this wall. And then not only that, but we also found eggs around along the wall. Basically pointing to that these chickens forgot where their own home was. Now we do have a new chicken in the pet flock, but I doubt she's gonna be there for long. And with this comes trying to find a new home. So when a chicken gets off track from their old home and wants to find a new place to, to you know, just like, just like bunker down in, like they just chose right over here. They chose this flock, which is the more spoiled flock, also known as the pet flock. I don't even know a good name for this, so I'm just gonna call them pet flock. So yeah, we have our chickens in here. Everyone's in here. Now the new chicken, new quote-unquote, is this chicken right here. Let me turn on the lights. So this chicken right over here, right next to Chicken Burger, that one, that buff, that's the new chicken that um, got in via this um, fence's really bad um, capabilities of trying to keep chickens out. <laughs> However, this week was the closest we've had to having our first loss in well over a year and a half. Now instead of me walking down there for 40 seconds just to film a clip, I'm going to show you where the new chicken coop is. So this is where their new chicken coop is. Usually they cover about, I'm going to say like 10 to 30 feet away from their coop, which usually extends up to like there. But they're probably going to go all the way around to the barn and back, and it's a pretty decent area size for them. But then when it all comes down to it, you know, the chickens are like they're scattered everywhere. They're like everywhere around here. Everyone is down there. And we're actually getting some defenses for the hawk. And then these chickens came up last night to over here. They went back to their original spot right over here. Thus fading right here. And digging up what's left of our, of our front door garden. Well, that's that for the front door garden. Yeah. We're gonna have to fence that thing off if we want to grow any plants this spring there. But yeah, when it all comes down to it, like, this is, like, something that not a lot of people actually have to deal with when it comes to chicken loss. A lot of people have to deal with this. It's, it's the hard truth. Anyways, yeah, like, there are those chickens up there. You see them way over there. You're bedding down over there for some reason. Well, that's what happens when they forget about their home. Now in that video, that was the sequel to um, me trying to look for that barred rock. Saying, I don't think my chicken is coming back at all. You know how I like made like that part of the video? So right over here, I told you that I found a few barred rock feathers. Uh, and I can now come to a conclusion that there was an attack right here. Now if you look carefully, here's the barred rock feather right there. Here it is. Here it is, right there. So yeah, if you look carefully at that. Well, there you go. That's like your only proof that there was a predator here. Now the scary part is that this is only like 15-20 feet away from the pet flock coop, which is like, uh, that's about like 25-ish feet. <laughs> Yeah, it takes not too long to walk from here to there, especially for a fox. So when it all comes to it, that fox could have easily snatched up another chicken from there. Fortunately, our ducks do a really good job of scaring the shit out of these predators, which is a really good thing when it all comes down to it. Because, well, like, when it all comes down to it, these, 
These predators, they're relentless. Once they find out where your chickens are, they're going to come back and be it every day, every other day, every few days, every week, every two weeks, be it any time. These predators are relentless. Once they figure out that your chickens are like, I don't know, like, like let's just say like I have chickens right there and they figure out where they are, they're going to come back every time they feel like they want to have a chicken and they're in this area. Now, especially predators like foxes, they're really annoying with this stuff, so best bet, keep them in a yard like this and get ducks. Literally, that's the only reason why we've probably not seen at least two or three chickens getting pulled out of this flock by a fox. Now, this part right here is live reaction. This is not, you know, like, staged or anything. I'm actually checking and seeing how they're doing, no matter how bad the lighting is over here. So... I see that this might be where they're dust bathing. Right over here. They're just scratching up the ground right here. Um, yeah, they're scratching up more ground over here, which is good. Uh, looking like they finally found- Oh, this is that stupid groundhog hole. I want to have a conversation with that groundhog, give it a piece of my mind, tell it to f*** off my property. I don't think the chickens have yet gotten here. Because if you look very carefully, I'm going to hold my camera really still, you'll be able to see there's a lot of brush. And when it all comes to it, there's not a way a chicken could fit in that. Think about it, I don't know, like a two or three pound chicken. Cannot fit in those. I'm going to get these chickens, I'm going to put them back where they belong. And this is sort of like an update style video. Yeah, not really, so. Here they are right here. I'm going to take... Whoever, I know this is Buffy the Unknown, because at first we thought she was a rooster, but because if you look carefully, she has a lot of rooster characteristics. But you realize quickly, she is not a rooster. Hey! Come with me, chicken. It's okay, chicky. I'm just taking it back to where you're supposed to be. Ah, come on. What the frick are you doing to me? Ugh. I'm cutting this out. It's hard to do this, especially in like camera. Could you please? Don't bite me, Buffy the Unknown, please. You look a lot like a rooster. Hey, no. <laughs> Come with me, chicky. Come with me. Give me lots of vibes of I'm trying to put away chickens back in 2021. I'm not gonna carry you like this. Are you kidding me? Alright, I'm turning this. Alright, so here's Last chicken. Now for a moment, there was a feature film worthy moment where that chicken climbed right onto my arm. But then when I started recording, she flew right down. Last chicken, probably can't see because this camera doesn't have night vision.